Swing trading on Betfair's horse racing markets is lucrative when you're not making a few common mistakes. Understanding why they happen helps you avoid painful and expensive mistakes further down the line, which is why this short video is gonna break down three of the worst offenders and what you can do to counter them. The first one being decision paralysis, getting caught in the headlights once we've got a trade open. So the fear of losing a trade is often worse than actually losing some money. It makes you do all sorts of daft things, like the third point that we'll come on to in just a second. But take a look at this chart. Markets naturally ebb and flow back and forth, and even more so when they're swing trading markets and there's more volatility. But expecting the trade to go in one direction alone is complete madness. We shouldn't be expecting to win every single trade all the time when we're swing trading, not at all. We're just looking to win more than we lose, but on a larger scale. So the good news is that the profits massively outweigh the losses when it's done right. But unlike scalping, we're looking to risk maybe five or six ticks, worst case, for possibly 10 or 20 in our favor, sometimes even more than that. Being indecisive is the worst thing a swing trader can do. It's a long-term strategy and it should be treated that way. On the other extreme, decision paralysis and getting caught in the headlights, loving an old position is bad news. Lots of people do it, but the key is to keep asking yourself the question once the trade is open, what has changed here? Has anything changed? Has it changed positively for me or has it changed negatively against me? Because then you need to adjust your position based on that information. Nothing to do with the amount of money that you're either up or down in the market. The market earns the profit for us, not us being overactive and micromanaging a position. It also means that we don't open unless the volume situation, the race at hand are all giving us an actual opportunity. Not every race is a swing trading race and it doesn't always have a swing trading opportunity. Certain situations are more beneficial, such as low grade, low quality situations. They often move a lot more. But treating every race like a swing trading opportunity is a mistake, which leads me onto the second mistake, which is cutting winnings too short too quickly. Now winning is great and that's obviously what we wanna do, but swing trading is about letting profits run a significant distance, much like the trade you can see on the screen here now hoping is not a strategy whether that's hoping that it goes further in your favor or hoping that it doesn't go against you it is not something that the market is reactive to neither is cashing out at the first possible profit which is something that so many people do over and over again and i've been prone to it in the past it's okay to offset a position give yourself a little bit more breathing space in terms of mentality once the trade's going to tick or two in your favor that can be quite useful from a clarity standpoint of seeing the situation for what it actually is, but that shouldn't be confused with cutting out your profits as soon as they are going in your favor and just banking that profit because that is almost the opposite of what string trading strategy is. We need to let the profits run and cut the losses short, not cut the profits short and let the losses run. So the market often starts to develop a few minutes out from the post time, typically four, four and a half minutes, maybe as low as three and a half minutes. And then the price activity accelerates in the last few. So it could even be that the market activity accelerates after post time. So let the market do its thing, let them move mature when you're swing trading is the point here. You don't wanna cut it short. One thing that is worse than losing is giving away profit and missing out on some easy profit when you're already right in the situation. Now I appreciate a lot of this comes back to emotion which is the devil when it comes to swing trading but you need to remember that it's a double-edged sword. Euphoria and being happy about making a successful swing trade is just as bad as fear in some cases. You need to let it mature and run its course. Don't be blinded by a bit of profit if a swing is favoring you. I mean if it's favoring you why leave? What's the reason for leaving? Because the reason should never be the financial profit. Again, much like the previous point, keep asking yourself what has changed in the situation. If you want additional help with this kind of thing, there's some links in the description down below for courses. Now the third and final mistake that we wanna cover here is adding to a poor decision. You need to learn to accept when you're wrong because successful trading is paradoxical. It's full of contradictions and not only do you need to keep reassessing a swing trade, you need to accept what you actually see. Trade what you see, not what you wanna see as the saying goes. Doubling up and adding to a position that isn't working is bad news generally speaking if it wasn't working already why would doubling the stakes help the situation averaging your position might help you get out of the poor house temporarily on one or two occasions 
But the reality is, it's gambling. Swing trading is not gambling. If adding to the trade is not part of the plan and your opinion is not being reinforced, don't do it. Now the contradiction there is, ebb and flow can be beneficial and adding to a position is very different to doing it to get out of trouble. One of the biggest edges to trading is the fact that you don't have to trade everything. If something's not going right, exit a bad swing trade, clear your head, get out of the situation, reassess it with a clear mind and then tackle it again. Prior planning and being ahead of the market and others is an advantage so don't give it away. If you can accept these three truths, swing trading on Betfair becomes a lot easier. Swing trading is lucrative because of price movement and disciplined execution. All three of these mistakes are due to emotional reactions. Consistently letting profits run and reassessing the situation is more important than anything else. Check out this trading example for proof of that and subscribe for future Betfair trading examples.